All right, y'all. We're going to do one today, a little something a little different. Um, we're going to talk about baptism. Have you ever been baptized? And if so, what happened? How did it make you feel? Did you feel different afterwards? What happened while it was happening? We're going to talk about it. Now, most, most people associate baptism with the church, with the sprinkling of water, or the dipping of a person in water. Whether it be a pond, whether it be um, a pool, some form of water. That's what we know of uh, baptism as. You know, like when they say Jesus... Uh, was baptized by John the Baptist or something like that, which is strange. Because if he's supposed to be the son of God, why is he being baptized by John the Baptist? I'm just saying that. Uh, you would think that it would be Jesus that would be baptizing John. Now this baptism is supposed to be the cleansing of the soul. I mean, I kind of thought that the soul was unblemished, but who knows? So, according to past life karma, when you think about it, the soul is not unblemished. It has blemishes in it. This is why people carry their past life karma to their next, next incarnation. So, Baptism has its purpose when you really look at it the proper way. Now, personally, I have never been baptized by a pastor at church. I'm going to speak on my own personal accounts of what I experienced when it comes to baptism. Now, this was during the time when I was into Orthodox Islam, I was studying it. And in order for me to study something in its full totality, I like to really become involved in it. So I was performing Salat. I was praying five times a day. I was studying the Prophet Muhammad. I was reading his books about Prophet Muhammad. I was reading the Hadiths. I was reading the Holy Quran. I was into Islam. Okay? I was deep into it. Now, this was Orthodox Islam. Before I started studying um, the Nation of Islam's teaching. Be okay, it's like this. I went through different schools of thoughts that led me to where I am today. Went through a lot of different schools of thoughts. Okay? But I remember reading in the Holy Quran that Allah is the best of baptizers. So I said to myself, well, I ain't never been baptized. So I remember I had performed Salat. And I was, I was praying on, on my prayer rug. Because you know what the Muslims do. Am I a Muslim? No. But according to the honorable Elijah Muhammad, all black people are Muslims. And his interpretation is that to be a Muslim is to be righteous. Be righteous by nature. So he claims that we are all righteous by nature. Now, I asked the creator, could he baptize me? I was like, I've never been baptized. And can you baptize me? Surely you are the best of baptizers. This was my prayer that I sent out to the universe. Well, I'm going to tell y'all how it went. Most of y'all are not going to believe me, which is absolutely fine with me because I honestly don't give a shit. I'm just sharing my experience. Okay. I was laying. In the bed. 
under entire surrender, entire submission. For about maybe three minutes, lay down my eyes closed. I'm just sitting there waiting like, okay, I done put my trust in this, the creator of the universe. Okay. The creator of the universe. This is what I called on, y'all. Called on the creator of the universe. Now, while they're laying down, uh, a, a paralysis came upon me. I couldn't even move. Couldn't move at all. Okay? And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, this got to be the creator. Because I'm thinking at that time, I'm thinking... Well, only the creator could, you know, stop me from moving. So this got to be the creator. So I'm thinking to myself, did I get afraid? No, I didn't. Honestly, I didn't even care. Because I said, this, this this was going through my mind. I'm thinking to myself, well, my life is already in the hands of the creator. So whatever's going to happen, going to happen regardless. So I'm laying there, right? With this paralysis on me. I can't move. I wasn't trying to move. I mean, I tried to move at first a little bit when I noticed the paralysis. Like, you could feel this this feeling over you when you when you have that. Like, y'all y'all, y'all know about the sleep paralysis? Okay, that's what was going on, basically. But I had I only been laying off for like three minutes. I wasn't even... No, I wasn't sleep. No, I wasn't hallucinating. No, I wasn't on no drugs because I don't do drugs. No, I hadn't been drinking because I don't drink. No alcoholic beverages. Okay, no, I wasn't popping no pills because I don't pop pills, none of that. Okay, anyway, I was absolutely sober. So, the paralysis came upon me, right? Then I felt some hands. I had my eyes closed, y'all. Felt some hands on my forehead. I felt fingers and I felt a hand. Okay, and I felt the hand on my side. Okay, right on my side. And when I felt that, I felt electromagnetic currents, waves going through this hand. And, man, when I tell y'all, I ain't never felt nothing like that. The best way I can put it is like I was being tased. At a high voltage. And it wasn't a pain. That was painful. It was an energy. That was intense. But it didn't hurt. But it damn sure was intense. Okay. And it was an energy. That felt like it was. Tuning up my soul. That's the best way I could put it. Felt like it was tuning up my soul on the highest frequency. And this occurred for about 40 seconds, maybe a minute. But within about, I would say, 20 seconds of it, I tried to open my eyes to see who it was. They had hands on my forehead. And when I tried to open my eyes, they did just like this. I never did see who it was. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't know who it was because I didn't see him. But I know who I called on. And I know that there's a lot of beings in the universe that can portray themselves to be that which they are not. But I did call on the creator of the universe. And for somebody to come and portray themselves to be the creator of the universe is a, is a broad, a bold a bold uh, encounter and a bold, how can I put this shit? Step forward to present themselves. That's bold. That's super bold. Not like a football game, but that's super bold. Okay? Now, after this had happened by almost 40 to, to a minute, second, almost about a minute, Man, I couldn't even take it no more. And I'm thinking to myself, I can't take this shit no more. And uh, it, whoever it was, they eased up off of me. 
And when they eased up off of me, it released me from this paralysis. And I, I sat up. I could still feel my side tingling like a motherfucker. Like, I'm telling y'all, it was very intense. Very intense. I still felt, I felt like a soothing sensation on my forehead. The sensation that was on my forehead wasn't that intense. It was more soothing. But then the sensation on my side was very intense. It was like an a energy valve that was allowing energy to come in. But at an extreme frequency. That's the best way I could put it. And uh, that was my experience, you know. After that occurred, I performed salat again. For y'all that don't know what salat is, it's a prayer. You just, you, it's a prayer. It's a, you just pray. You know what the Muslims call it salat. It's just basically praying. So, I thank the Creator. I again, I don't know who it was, but I know who I called on. I'm not finna lie to y'all and be like a Christian and say I talked to God. Knowing damn well they ain't talked to no damn God. Tell me they heard the God, the voice of God. Knowing damn well they don't know what his voice sound like. Knowing damn well they probably lying. Because then it could have been anybody portraying themselves to be that which they are not. So I'm not about to lie to y'all. But that was my experience. I asked for the creator to baptize me. But I, I got results. That's the most important thing. I did get results but anyway i want y'all to drop it in the comment section tell me if you ever been baptized tell me what happened how i make you feel i ain't speaking no tongues ain't no man never baptized me no physical man anyway you know i believe it probably was a creator that came in some type of form or whatever could have been an extraterrestrial for all i know okay i don't know anyway that was my experience until then, may the force be with you. Peace.